Hi everyone, it's Gary Nixon here with the Mountain Weather Information Service. This is your planning outlook on Sunday the 1st of September. Yes, the start of meteorological autumn, but still technically late summer, isn't it really? It's not been a particularly good summer. It's been one that's been dominated by unsettled weather in most of the recent weeks. And the first week of September is nothing different, with Atlantic westerlies streaming in with a series of fronts and some spells of wind and rain right the way through this week. Just a glimmer a still of high pressure towards next weekend. Now, in terms of the outlook for, say, seven to ten days down the line, a lot will hinge, actually, on what's happening with Hurricane Dorian, that is currently an extremely powerful Category 5 hurricane around the Bahamas and will be very slow moving in the next few days as it moves towards the eastern side of Florida. And that satellite picture and this chart courtesy of the National Hurricane Centre over in the States, and just to briefly show you the track of that system, and this is over the next week ahead, even by Friday of the upcoming week, only just having reached Cape Hatteras off North Carolina. It will be a major storm system then off that eastern seaboard for several days ahead. Eventually what that system will do is make its way up toward the eastern side of Canada, transitioning into a post-tropical storm and then just a powerful area of low pressure as these things often do at this time of year and then head out into North Atlantic as it's picked up by the jet stream. That will have a lot of complications to play for and that will be the story as we head a week or so down the line. We'll come back to that in a moment. Let's have a look at uh, the charts then for the next few days. This for Monday, we've got uh, a windy day. Gales, severe gales across the mountain tops, increasingly as the day goes on as fronts come in from the west. Heavy rain setting in across the west highlands of Scotland. Some of that rain spilling eastwards across into the Cairngorms. And occasional rain and drizzle coming on to western hills of the lakes. And little bits and pieces for Wales shouldn't be such a great deal here further away from those fronts. But some low cloud still hanging on to the higher tops. Very low cloud across the western mountains in Scotland. One frontal system will move eastwards. The next ripple along that sequence comes through on Tuesday. Still a pretty wet day for many western hills and mountains. Western Scotland again taking the lion's share of that one through the day once again. Patchier rain further eastwards. It's still a windy day and the risk of gales still on many of the higher mountains. Temperatures lifting for a time within that warm sector but it will then tend to drop as the cold front comes in later on in the day. And a brief push of much colder air looks believable into Wednesday. That cold front sweeping away southeastwards, turning the wind direction more north to northwesterly, at least for a time on Wednesday. And it may well drop back close to freezing point on the higher Scottish tops. We've got uh, a front wrapped around that flow and that may give some organised rain, some sleet above, say, 900,000 metres in northern Scotland. Might not uh, rule out some snow on the very highest summits. Unlikely to stick for too long, though. And a story of showers passing further southwards and eastwards across the British Isles. Some of those on the heavy side might get a rumble of thunder just locally out of those and still a windy day with the risk of gales on many mountains. A relative lull perhaps on Thursday as we just turn back more towards a westerly once again. There is something of an occluded front uh, on the scene. Still some rain and drizzle across western coastal hills, a few showers spreading eastwards, cloud covering many western areas much of the day. It may just be that comparatively the rain isn't quite as heavy and frequent, just with a brief ridge of higher pressure trying to nudge its way in. But there's further fronts not too far away over the Atlantic. Temperatures will have lifted a touch by this time too. Still a sequence of fronts going through into Friday. Detail a little bit more uncertain just exactly where these go, but the idea of some rain in place is quite persistent. That could be focused a bit further south by the stage across Western England and Wales. Some showers coming into Scotland on a cooler uh, west northwesterly flow again. So total rainfall through five days ahead until Friday, looking something like this and likely to be a good 50 to 75 millimetres extensively across the West Highlands. But with the orographic rainfall effects of the uh, air mass running into those hills, you wouldn't be surprised to see in excess of 100 mil pretty widely across the Western Highlands from, say, Loch Arbor to Mull up towards Skye and Torridon seems to be the worst of that heavy rainfall. Comparatively lower totals, the further east you go, you might still pick up on the best part of an inch, though, even toward the Cairngorms and similar totals to that around the Lake District as well. 
Wales, the South Pennines, comparatively the driest of all. Now once we get rid of that system through Friday, it does look as though there is a ridge of higher pressure that is building its way toward the British Isles and just appearing on the far western side of this image coming towards Newfoundland is what will be left of Hurricane Dorian by that time. Looks as though that will get absorbed into the Atlantic jet stream around next weekend. Now what can happen sometimes ahead of these uh, former hurricanes is that it pushes a zone of higher pressure ahead of it, almost like a bow wave on a ship that comes across the Atlantic and actually can give us uh, some very good weather um, before the tail end of these things starts to move directly across the Atlantic. Much uncertainty then into the start of next week. I won't try and get clever. It could be that things chop and change depending on the final results of that hurricane's track. Many indications though are starting to see that into the jet stream and giving once again a mobile unsettled westerly pattern as we go into that next week. That is up for grabs but that's the indication at this stage. It's often the case that at this time of year former Atlantic hurricanes do throw quite a double six into our weather patterns and there may be some change to that story yet as we go through the days ahead so we'll keep you up to date. You can follow us here every day with all our forecasts at the Mountain Weather website and on social media as well. Thanks for watching this video today. Bye for now.